guys, so I recorded this the first time, but I realized the mic was off, so we're gonna try this again. We're doing something completely different this week. We are taking on more of a vlogging aspect. I'm talking directly to the camera, and this is kind of weird, but kind of fun. In this week's InstaSize TV tutorial, we're gonna show you how to take advantage of golden hour lighting. So how to be outdoors when the sun is setting, and what to do to really make sure you're getting the most out of your pictures. So I hope you enjoy. Make sure you give us a like, and uh, of course, subscribe if you aren't already, and enjoy the tutorial. We'll see you guys next week. Golden hour is honestly, if you find a good subject, like this tree right here, and if you can get in front of it, like this, put your subject, it's gonna work really well with the tree and then the sun coming behind me, which will give you that golden glare. If not, if it's just you and the sun, always shoot towards the sun and have your subjects face you. If not possible, you can use the head to block out the sun when getting down low. Um, just have fun with it, honestly. It just takes practice. Every picture you take will be golden regardless. It's just a matter of you need to find your creativity to make it go. So if you press on your phone screen, you'll see this little brightness adjustment. You can control that. This helps really well when shooting in golden hour because you can control the amount of light that's hitting your lens on your phone. The lighter you go, the more sun, the more exposed and blown out your photo will get the less you do you kind of have a little bit more control you can see more of the flares right there best point the best setting i like is just below midway when shooting in light like this so i set my settings and i'm just going to take some quick photos of natasha perfect also when shooting on an iphone a good thing is to put go ahead and put in portrait mode So here, Natasha is sitting, so I'm going to adjust my lighting so you can see her like that. And I'm just going to shoot some photos. Go ahead and go in portrait mode. This adds a nice bokeh feel, meaning bokeh is like the blurriness in the background. I'm going to up my exposure. There you go. Go ahead and look at me, Natasha. And then smile. Natasha has a foot cramp. <laughs> Hold on girl, my feet are chilling. 